I was a history major in college. And the rule of thumb is if you can find the same information across multiple sources, it's probably pretty correct. And while that rule of thumb still exists in most research fields, the problem with the internet is the sources can be really, really nebulous. And if you're not deep in the weeds of understanding how to read what control groups are and how to read studies and, and how to read their source lists and their references, those studies look really good. I hate the phrase, well, studies show. Okay, I can make a study about anything if you want me to. And if you scroll far enough down Google, you'll find things that validate your own opinion. So when you find that a family member or a spouse or someone intrinsic in your child's life is really starting to fall down that rabbit hole of the, the vaccine anti-evidence, you're going to have to find a point of trust. So maybe it's your lifelong family physician. Um, maybe it's a counselor. Maybe it's uh, an old guy down the street who's, you know, mother died of polio or something, something that they will trust that's a real life human being because the overwhelm of information on the internet, um, that gets really muddy because for every study you can provide that's real and backed by WHO or CDC, they've got another one that's backed by anti-vaxxers are us. So you have to find a real point of connection. Hopefully your family physician is still someone they trust. If you blow out your knee, you're gonna go to this man and you're gonna trust him when he says you need surgery on your ACL. So if we go to this man or woman and talk to them and they say, yes, you need to protect yourself from chicken pox um, because it, it, it is still a deadly disease even though most of us, at least my age category, I had chicken pox because we didn't have varicella vaccine at the time. But Hopefully that human being can give that point of connection and really speak to the emotional appeal and present themselves as an actual real life approachable human flesh and blood expert that validates the, yeah, the CDC is right. No, that's not government interference. I vaccinated my own kids. Um, I will vaccinate yours if you'll let me. I trust this information. I trust this science. And I spent a lot of years and money trying to understand all these things. So that's my advice is find a human that they will trust because the internet sources get muddy.